Welcome to the Nifty Chicks and this week's episode of the Nifty News. In this episode, we cover FIFA's plan to launch their own NFT football platform, the granddaughter of Pablo Picasso inspiring NFT collectors, and rapper Tyga is being sued over bailing on a $500,000 NFT project. Let's do this. Welcome to the Nifty News, Jenna T. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. Getting ready for the big trip. I know. So exciting. So exciting. You're going to have such a blast. Yeah. So exciting. So should we dive into the news? Yes, we've got a lot to cover. Yeah. So I thought this was exciting. So FIFA is getting ready to launch their own NFT football platform. Yeah, um, I'm I think it's 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 awesome. I'm all about it. I'm a huge football fan. I know you are, too. So I'm excited for it. But um, I'm I think it's going to start to get oversaturated with the amount of NFT platforms that there are, um, especially around kind of the fantasy football and sports kind of world, you know, autograph collections already doing stuff. So I don't know um, if if I were FIFA, I don't know if I would if I would be kind of building my own or trying to partner with someone. But I'd say like I'm like I said, a huge football fan. So I'm saying the more the merrier. Right. So it does look like they um, partnered with Algorand to make this happen. Um, of course, you know, it's going to be it's going to have sports memorabilia and stickers and engaging, you know, fans with their favorite players. Um I don't know. It'd be interesting to see. I I also saw, I feel like everybody in the sports world is, you know, getting into NFTs. And I saw, um, what was the other, was like the Chicago Bulls, I think. I don't know. Uh, It feels like, feels like all sports are, you know, jumping on the bandwagon, which I think makes sense because, I feel like they can do a lot, you know, just like we've talked about with um, musicians and artists, you know, getting into the NFT space and all the things that can go along with that, um, you know, rewarding your fans for um, owning your NFT. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, it makes sense to me. Um, I would be interested as like a big football fan, you know, having my the ability to collect some you know, my favorite players and some like, you know, similar to like cards. Don't you remember baseball cards, collecting baseball cards, yep. trading baseball exactly. cards? It's going to be very similar. So um, yeah. I am excited to see what the perks come. Like, I don't know if it's going to be exclusive access to, um, you know, various uh, sporting events or things like that. Um, but it'll be fun. Yeah. It'll be fun. I'm yeah. excited. So this one I, I thought was interesting. So the granddaughter of Pablo Picasso um, is in inspiring NFT collectors to support the nursing profession, which is close to my heart because my sister is a nurse. That's right. Yeah. Um, it's, it's good. So I guess it's going to be, uh, the, the global gift foundation gala hosted premiere of two NFT commission NFTs commissioned by Marina Picasso, who is Pablo Picasso granddaughter titled super nurse, a tribute to the art of a 14 year old da- daughter of a nurse. So, um, it looks like it's going to be sold for $50,000 each. That's a bit out of my price range, but, um, I think like, the sentiment of um, acknowledging, you know, ultimately like heroes in my mind, nurses mm-hmm. are heroes in my mind. And uh, I think it's, it's brilliant. It's needed. Um, I, I love the fact that she's doing this. Yeah. These are, these are cool. Um, I just have to say, it does remind me just a little bit of our fearless girl. Like when you see the, you know, the poses with the, the arms, you know, your hands on your hips and. That's right. Yeah. yeah. She is definitely, yeah. I think all near nurses are fearless yeah. men and women. Um, yeah. So it's it. definitely a cool, cool concept. Yeah. So, you know, always got to have some bad news in NFTs and it looks like rapper Tyga was sued for bailing on a $500,000 NFT project. Yeah. Um, 
I will be hugely disappointed uh, if that's true. So it says uh, rapper Tyga is being sued by an NFT company, which claims he bailed on the $500,000 project involving creating a custom set of digital art. So like it, there are so many rug pulls and uh, project leaders bailing that mm -hmm. um, it's really frustrating to know that someone who uh, maybe maybe may not need the money um, as much, you know, he's built a successful career as a rapper right. to do that to people who, you know, these, this is like, this is people's real money. Um, that would be extremely frustrating. So I think like if, if all, if this turns out to be that he did actually do a rug pull and totally bailed on this project. And if he kept money from it, if he got financially compensated for that, I say like, let's, let's go ahead with that lawsuit. I'm excited. Right. Bring Agreed. it on. Uh, we, gotta we gotta stop. We gotta stop people from doing that. I know. I'm. I'm over it. Bill Murray is in the news. Uh, he had over one hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars in Ethereum drained from his wallet. Yeah. Yikes. The bummer thing is, like, this was oh, after um, a charity event. So, like, yeah. He sold these NFTs, um, the this collection, um, to benefit uh, veterans, veterans and first, and first respo responders, yeah. mm -hmm. right? So, like, dude, like, really? Do you have to take? Do you have to take the money from you know a good cause? Like, that's just shitty in my mind. But mm -hmm. um, I have no Such fear. Such is there the world. Yeah, there are more stories and, you know, we, we've been reporting on this for a lot in the news of uh, companies who are making changes to ensure that hackers and people who are stealing NFTs or cryptocurrency from other wallets are being reprimanded and held accountable. So I'm hoping that whoever stole this is going to be found and held accountable and that all of these funds can go right back to that charity because uh, that's, that's where it belongs. Yeah, it does say that, you know, they're working with authorities to try and, and catch them. But, you know, it's crypto and blockchain. And it's oftentimes very hard for them to actually track them down and then, you know. Yeah, unfortunately. I know. Uh, well, that's all we've got for the news. So I just want to remind everybody to be sure and give us a follow on your favorite social. You can find us at the Nifty Chicks. That is at the Nifty N-I-F-T-Y Chicks, C-H-I-C-K-S. And I'll, as always, thank you so much for listening to the Nifty Chicks. Always remember, invest in yourself because you are worth it. Please listen carefully to the following disclaimer. Neither the host nor the guests of the Nifty Chicks podcast are acting in the capacity of financial advisors. We wish to remain transparent and impartial to the NFT community at all times, and therefore, the content provided by the Nifty Chicks hosts and guests are intended for general information purposes only. Nothing written or discussed by the Nifty Chicks hosts and guests should be construed or relied upon as investment, financial, legal, regulatory, accounting, tax, or similar advice. Nothing should be interpreted as a solicitation to invest in any cryptocurrency or NFT, and nothing herein should be construed as a recommendation to engage in any investment strategy or transaction. Please be advised that it is in your own best interest to consult with investment, legal, tax, or similar professionals regarding any specific situation and any prospective transaction decisions. You must do your own research when considering investing in cryptocurrencies or NFTs. We are simply sharing our journey with you as we learn more about the world of NFTs. Happy minting.